Hello and welcome back to the Imperium, my friends. My name's Kalan and I've done this introduction before. In fact, I've played this entire episode previously, but I think I fucked the sound over because it doesn't have any. So, we're doing it again. And to be honest, that's a good thing because the game was hammering us. It already has hammered us the last couple of episodes, but it was really, really hammering us. Um, however, we've also got new mod features for hospitality. The bit I'm really excited for, traveling guests. I know that my mouse in the right place for you guys. Traveling guests will never have mental breaks. That is good. That means that Garrison, if she comes back, she can die on her own. <laughs> uh, oh, get fix. Guests now only get entertained when they're inside the guest area. That's actually quite good because our colonists were following around the entire place, entertaining them. I do need to set up a guest area, though. And also, this guy's got his own game. Check it out. Right, so here we are. Alex has just died. I've had a whole episode where we were trying to save him and such. So there's several things. First, I wanted to go out into the world to get this thing here. The item stash of Healer Mexum to resurrect him from the dead. But what you'll notice is it doesn't say resurrect it in the title. The, 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 ep the episode that never was. Um, we discovered this uh, as we uh, lost somebody else as well. God, who do we lose? I can't remember who we lost, to be honest. I think it was Snowman or Shuzgo? No, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. We lost Scorpio. But that's not happened. That is in the alternate reality where we just don't have to interact with that anymore. Um, so, Helium X Serum doesn't do what we want. It heals all illnesses. It does not heal death. Still useful to get if I can. I still would like to go on a journey to go pick this up and the plan is steel. However, I'm getting the feeling that... The same thing's going to happen last, as, as happened in the, the episode that never was, in that I'm going to get completely fucked by the game and not get a chance to. We do still have people with muscle parasites. Um, no, the plague was last time, not this time, I believe. So yes, yeah, so we've just got muscle parasites. <laughs> just, he says. What I might start doing is start instituting this Pino Zyxaclean, or however you want to pull pronounce it um because you need to take one a week i believe one every five days must be taken every five days to remain effective so we have one two three we have 17 people so every week we'll use 17 so 74 i don't know why that one's on its own but 74 will last us four weeks we'll have to get a, a drug Tab up to... Oh, we actually already have that up there. We're going to make it more of a priority. Um, so that we can actually get that done. And then we're going to set up a medical... Here we go. We're going to set up the, the drugs lights policy. Uh, and to be honest, the, the no drugs policy. To... Although to be honest, I don't, I don't think the drugs light actually does anything. Uh, to a chemical fascination person. I'm pretty sure they don't care. I'll leave it on no drugs for now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust all these to make sure that we're getting the Pinot Zyx clean as a part of our daily regimen. Right, so we should start taking that drug immediately, uh, as everybody's now on it, and uh, that should prevent any sort of plague issues. Because I oh offended Kurz, what did you do? Kurz commended Carpenter's faction. Carpenter looked around the room bored. Midori compared Kurz's mother to an ant. You ant. <laughs> How dare you? You leave Curse's mother alone. She's been through enough, okay? Okay, so the mission for today. It's really weird coming back to an episode you've already done. But but the mission for today, uh, I feel, is to not die. We do need we do want to go out if possible to go and get some things, but I think actually the most important thing is getting these bionics installed. So many people have pieces of them torn off or destroyed and this isn't going to help us in the future um because as i was having the raids in the episode that shan't be named people were very slow to react to things just literally by movement speed so i couldn't help but think that if we had the bionics on them it might have gone a bit better hey 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 we finished some brain surgery excellent Next on the list, Animal Bionics. Yeah, I think we actually will then be fully up to speed. We'll have rib replacements, Animal Bionics. Yes, we'll have everything to do with surgery. And we can finally get people completely fixed. I'm also thinking that these traps outside the, uh, the sandbags 
In previous like iterations of RimWorld, these are like this kind of defense has done really well and caught a few people. Nobody seems to go into them, and they end up just getting destroyed by our very own steel-mounted grenade machine guns. So I'm just gonna have these ones uh, disassembled. Saves us on steel, and. I uh, gives us steel back to be honest and it just makes it so that hopefully there'll be less sapper raids because sapper raids are triggered when there's a lot of traps and like turrets and such I wonder if it counts machine guns as uh, mini guns as turrets because they're not automated turrets they're manned turrets I don't know wow these visitors really have done a, a good job on our um our mining <laughs> I think our main miners are either dead or incapacitated due to the muscle parasites. Good work, team. We are still so low on, on meds. We have four total. Hey, they enjoyed their stay. Ooh, left us sin thread and some psychite team to meet. Very nice. I mean, we've got enough meat, but very nice. Come on, guys, finish the damn. Who's who's our miner? Oh. Okay, Alex was our main miner, <laughs> and he's now dead. Do we have another miner? We don't have another miner that does it as a primary, and because most people have muscle parasites, they're gonna be doing their primary only, and then going to bed. Go on, duck, lead them in the rights of evil. Quick, Goldie. Yes. Um. We haven't really, nothing's really happening. Just let you know, time is passing. I'm not going out and doing anything right now because of muscle parasites. And because Indian Stan is still on his ass. Uh, also because I really want this hospital finished. Before anything else happens, I want this hospital finished. Call it premonition, call it cheating from already having done this episode, but I want this hospital done as soon as fucking possible. Oh. Grizzly bear is hunting Nobu for food. Well, how did that go for you, Grizzly? Not very well, apparently. Um, cool. Got some free food. And also, we got Goldie's Inspired Surgery. Very nice for the bionics we're going to try and install. And also a passing cruiser. Let's just go get on that. Let's sell so much of this shit. Ooh. And so we can't actually sell that much. But what we can sell is a load of books that Jackie's written. That gets us a lot of cash. Thanks, Jackie. Your name is going to be known amongst the stars. That is beautiful. Holy shit, we can <laughs> Who wants 760 chocolate bars? <laughs> that might be too many. But I'm thinking a good solid 250. We're gonna have chocolate for days. Uh, that is what we're trading all Jackie's book for. I mean, if, if I was Jackie, uh, and I'm not, but I, you know, I think I've got a pretty good handle on the situation. If I was Jackie, I think I'd be very happy to do books and get paid in chocolate. <laughs> oh, another flat screen TV. We will buy that as well because we want two for the hospital. Excellent. Oh, look, look, look at Ziola Blue hogging both fucking machines. All right, finish that component, Ziola. And then actually, how many components do we have left? Oh, we've got 22. That's not that much. But still, finish that component, then you can bloody do the bionic foot. Come on, man. No, no, don't rest. No, you don't get to rest. Are you, are you, are you sick? I don't care. Finish your fucking component. Come on, you can do it. You're fine. Excellent work. Now you can rest. And then I want you finishing that bionic foot. God damn it. Okay, we have some mad elks. How many of them? Five of them. Five mad elks. Yeah, there was no need to worry whatsoever, was there? Let's just get all these hauled in. Ah, uh, shite. Vibrations from deep drills have angered some underground insects. Now they're tunneling upwards to seek revenge. This is never very good as <laughs> they, they, they There's no hives, but they just come out when you're not prepared Not that you're ever prepared for a fucking set of infestations really are you? Oh God, that's a lot. That's how many of them? 11 Duck styles and biohazard caught a little bit out here. Um, shite. 
balls. Get over there, get over there. Uh, the others are still grouping up. This is why, what I meant when I said it's... There's not much you can do about it. You just kind of... They're there and they're on you in seconds. And this is why having slow feet does not help. No, leave Duck alone. Biohazard, ye will stand your ground. You will stand your ground a bit closer. No, leave Duck alone. Snowman, engage. Zyla Blue, I need your spear. Goldie, don't engage with fists, you madman. Good work, Biohazard. May your death be remembered in the halls of Valhalla. Don't die is another option you have. Okay. We've, we've killed a few of them. Move up, reinforcements. Biohazard's down. Move up, reinforcements. Duck styles. Why haven't? Why do I never remember that you can kill things with your mind? No, kill it with your mind. Why aren't you killing things with your mind? I think they're mostly down. Success. Excellent. Is that them all dead? That is indeed them all dead. Well done, team. Very good job. Brown and Guy, you held well. Comforting any sand in that tiny room. Can we please save Biohazard? Uh, I assume somebody is. Yes, yeah, Snowman's going to save him. Fantastic. And put these sons of bitches down. A little, little bit of drama, but in the most, for the most part, that's much better than what happened last time. There's always an event. The game's like, okay, this person's doing too well. There hasn't been enough to damage them. I need an event to happen now. And it's a random lottery of what you get. If it's a raid, if it's an infestation, if it's the too deep drilling thing, whatever. So this was relatively benign comparatively. And I'm happy for that fact. Can you please just finish these off? I do not want them getting up and being all dickish. Uh, we have people injured. Is no one taking care of them? Duck. Is no one treating the duck styles? Brown and guy, get up and treat duck. Are we out of medicine now? Oh, shite. We have zero medicine. Ha ha ha. Oh. But soon. Soon we'll have some heal roots. Crap. Ah, oh, no. Come on. I didn't mock the infestation before with the specific intent of having another one. Oh. God. Damn it. I hate infestations. Oh, they are the worst. Oh, thank God it's over there. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. They're going to do some mining for us. This is great. I do want to kill them, though. A lot of people, I've seen episodes of other people playing RimWorld and such, and they're like, oh, they're nowhere near my base. I think I'll leave them alone. And you can't. You cannot. I've had personal experience of them fucking me up because I thought, well, they're not that close. I'll leave them alone. They expand. They will just cover this entire region in death. So we need to go and kill them as soon as possible. However, that does not need to be right now, as it is nighttime and muscle parasites takes precedence. A lot of people need rest and healing. Oh, that is a horrific amount. That's, that's 500 insect jelly though. We have 23 mega spiders, 28 spellipedes, and where are the little dicks? 24 mega scarabs. Or... Can't remember. I didn't recount. Uh, okay, fine. No, la no, lady. <laughs> Do not go through there. Fine. We'll deal with those tomorrow morning. In fact, how are we going to deal with them? Because it's all very well and good just opening this door, having a gun line at the end. But that's three guns. And there's a lot of them. Um... I think this is one of the only instances where the incendiary launcher will actually be incredibly useful. Gunliner 3, 
maybe a critical line of six. One at the back in the middle is the incendiary launcher, and he's tasked with firing it somewhere here so they can just start burning to death. Side Duck Styles has to be one of the uh, people up there. We'll have some melee in reserve, so when the first one goes down, he runs in and they, they run in and take the place because they are going to go down. Okay, this, this will work. This will definitely work. <laughs> Random guys throwing a party. Okay. To be honest, I'm okay with that. Because it's it's going to be a mood buff. And if we're going into a protracted fight, especially with muscle parasites, we're going to have mood debuffs. So this is not a bad thing. Although Biohazard probably should still be in bed. Ah, fuck it. Join the party. Have a good time, guys, because the second this party finishes, we're going hunting. Excellent. Party's finished. Okay. Everybody but random guy and biohazard. And fucking Scorpio. He didn't even make it to the party. God, you're so slow, Scorpio. Uh, everybody but that is going to be drafted. And we're going to send you down here, apart from... Who are our speedy ones? General Gator and Neb are our two fastest ranged peoples. Uh, which makes sense because they've been part of the colony for the least amount of time. You're going to go and get yourselves some incendiary launchers. Okay, the gang's gathering. Timrex and Silo Blue, you are standing by to take over from Snowman. Um, and Puck, I want you where Snowman's standing now because you've got the automatic shotty. Side the Neb and Gator will both be there. Okay. Actually, animals, I don't want you involved because it's such a tight, narrow corridor, and there's we're using incendiaries, so please leave. Everyone else, get ready to to take over. Any sign? You don't even have a weapon. Any sign? I get the feeling actually, it's just to send you away. You can just go away. You're fine. Hey, let's go. Okay, Neb, Gator. Oh, Gator can't actually hit down there. So I'm going to move Gator there and Curse, you're going in front. Uh, and Gator, please start lighting up that corridor. Oh, very nice. Though they didn't see set anything of a light. They are? Oh, they've got grenade launchers, not incendiary. Shit. <laughs> well, hopefully this will still work. I'm pretty sure, though, incendiary would have been much more devastating. I mean, those grenade launchers are actually doing quite a bit of work. Oh, my dear God. A snowman just must be shaking in fear. Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Come on, snowman. You got this. Let the weight of their own bodies work against them. Oh, yes! Those grenade launchers are actually doing really well. I still think in the center would have been better, but still. Oh, duck, why are you not there? Duck, can you please use a psionic burn on that one? Yeah, he's on fire. Fantastic. Can you use a psionic, uh, psionic blast on anything that moves? Oh, wow. This is actually working really well. How many are alive still? Still 48 alive, but they had something like 70, and there's nothing attacking Snowman right now. He's, I mean, he's injured, but he's not down, which I thought he'd go instantly down. grenade launchers and the, the bodies that they're creating, the corpses, are really doing good work. Oh, so man, hold up, man, hold up. You can do this. All right, I'm going to take Sense Health, Xyola Blue to go there, and I'm going to try to swap them out. Okay, Snowman just got hit with a uh, grenade launcher. Snowman, go here. Move away, okay. 
Light of blue. Yeah, we swapped out. Good, good. We got an effective swap out. Holy shit, we actually died. I didn't realize the grenades were doing so much damage. Good work, Snowman. You are definitely free to leave. No, 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 no. Oh, he's, he's, he's got on fight whenever he's near enemies. You're so, you're so brave, but please leave. Oh, yes. Wreck him. How many alive? Still 26. Alyssa, why are you here? <laughs> Christ's sake. Uh, just go into the infestation. Oh, I should have moved there ages ago. Yep. If you survive without any injuries, Alyssa, my god, you're the luckiest fucking puppy alive. Okay, we, I don't, do not feel we need the grenade launch anymore. God, the corpses, because there's so many of them, they don't generally like to stack up on each other. They're spilling out around us. That is insane. A mere 11 left. Oh, fuck, yes, that shotgun. Nev is no longer, no, no longer inspired shoot frenzy. Well, <laughs> I didn't even know he had it, but my gob was out perfectly timed. One left. Jesus, we made mince meat out of them. Oh, that is so effective. Good work, guys. Good work. I would like Shizgo to be my uh, my honor guard of killing the fuck out of everything that's alive. And then we need to actually clear these as well. There's 703 insect jelly. Jesus Christ. Okay, finish them off. Kind of annoyed they didn't uncover... Oh, they did. They did uncover some new stuff. Yes. Compact machinery. Yes, making the hive work for you. Now, I am slightly worried that there's so many of these hives, another 17 to go, that before I kill them all, they're going to respawn some uh, enemies. I have five shooters here. I don't know how many respawn in a, in a single wave, though, so... We can try our best to kill them as soon as possible. God, there's a further... Oh my god, there's, a, there's so much insect jelly. This is amazing. <laughs> I mean, we don't have room for this. We have dead animals to carve up. We just... We have a lot of food. What can I say? By the way, this little mining expedition here, through into this area, is because I want to turn this room into a sort of... Morgue, a place where they're not yet buried, but not yet ready to give up on them. Much like Alex here. We're going to have a little cooler to make sure it's kept cold, but it's going to be a place where we can safeguard the corpses so that eventually, if we get res resurrect mech serums, we can resurrect them. Alex, your time is not yet done. Woo, got them all. Yes, nothing survived. Beautiful. And so much, so much insect jelly. It doesn't seem to go off at all. It's not... Even though it's 15 degrees in here, it doesn't seem to want to... Uh, it does have durability, but not like um, a, de a decomposing time. So we're actually just going to not have it hauled urgently and just gonna let it be brought in as and when it can be. Oh my god, oh my god. There were so many bodies, and as I said, they don't like to stack on the same tile. They spilled out over here! I know those insects can tunnel, but that's ridiculous. Okay, thank you, everybody. I can imagine there's... Yeah, most people are very, very, very tired. Uh, but we did well. Did really well. Took about half a day to do that. We get some trading items as a reward. Excellent. Hey, Animal Bionics is done. Nothing left in the queue for research. But that's okay. I don't really feel like we need to research much at the moment. I'd rather get other things done. Like saving Scorpio. Is anyone on the way? Yeah, Kurz. No, Kurz is consuming a fine meal. 
Wow, cuz. Wow, showing your friendship there. Jesus. <laughs> Over my dead body to Scorpio. Cuz, like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what? Trebo, one of the guests, started a social fight with Simrex. Simrex derided Trebo's face. <laughs> Okay, I can understand why he may have been atta attacking Simrex then. I mean, I wouldn't, Trebo. You you will. Holy shit. Trebo was, I believe, one of their uh, tradery peoples who was obviously holding the things we sold them. That's a very sneaky way of getting our shit back. Oh, wow. One of their, one of their own people is rescuing Trebo. We didn't even rescue him. Wow, we're doing real well, guys. Really, really, really showing how the colonies advanced and culturally, etc., etc. Work, Snowman. You did a real fucking good job there holding off that horde. Not many would stand in front of, seven, what was it, 75 uh, insects, giant insects, as they barrel down a corridor towards you. You did it. Good job, sir. Now that Alex is dead, actually, who's our number one runner in kills? She just go, then Gator. How is Gator second? <laughs> He's been in a coma for like three years. The rest of you suck. They they're absolutely amazed by our hospitality. You're forgetting something. <laughs> you, you left chin the 57 chinchilla meat, but also Trebo. Hey, Pook's lover's back. You gonna actually talk to Monkey Pook, or are you just gonna ignore him again like last time? Oh, oh! Monkey told Pook that he wants to spend his life with her. Pook rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue, and the two have now broken up. To be honest, Pook, I think you're being unreasonable. Monkey has come to visit us. Four or five times now? You've never gone to visit Monkey. You never talked to Monkey. <laughs> Monkey's going to be unhappy about this. Frankly, I don't give a shit if Monkey's unhappy about this. But you, so you've only got yourself to blame. I think Put gets a debuff as well. No, he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't give a fuck. He is, however, entombed underground and needs to go outside. Monkey? Oof, minus 18. I thought we were meant to marry, but I was just shot down. This is, a, again, a thing. Even in the the episode that never shall be, we still have had none of the colonists shacking up together. This is remarkably weird. Which is 18 people, or 17 now, just sitting around, enjoying time, and nobody is making out. It's so strange. trebo has gone berserk. Can we kill her? <laughs> this is the one that's left over from when the people of the Chasma were visiting us. Thankfully, she's quite slow. No, Gator, what? N no. N no, let's not shoot the visitor. How about, how about Scorpio <laughs> shoots visitor? How about Scorpio, we can't arrest her. Okay, interesting. You're just not allowed, Gator. Can't shoot everything and everyone, all right? No, I'm watching you. No. Jesus, that one blast. God, in the right eye. Gator, for Christ's sake. Ugh, now we've got to fucking rescue and heal the damn... Oh, Scorpio, you are so slow. Now we've got to rescue and heal her again. Ah, oh, Christ. Arm puck. Finish that lung. Finish that lung. Yeah, baby. Finish that lung. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. Oh no, he's back. Garrison once more enters the fray. If I have to look after you again, I already have a room set up for you, you annoying bitch. And here we go, the synthetic lung is complete. That's fantastic news. Right, let's get you into a comfortable position. Cut out your missing destroyed lung. Okay, and Goldie. Let's hope that the fact that you're inspired means that when you, you're only a medical three, but I'm hoping the inspiration makes you amazing. I don't really know. Why is there so much blood under here? Goldie, you're meant to be cleaning this ship. Okay, come on, Goldie. Come on. You got this, pal. 
Hook needs a new sexy lung. Hey! Seems to have worked. Synthetic lung. Okay, his movement has increased. This is the thing. Movement is so big right now. I have a huge colony and almost everybody... This is the worst thing... Well, one of the worst things about muscle parasites. Muscle parasites are awful. Getting them is awful. They last for months and they just sap your colony of movement, of food, of tired, of like needing to rest all the time. Just, oh, I hate them. Um, but this is a good way of counteracting it, making people bionic. We just need to give you an eye as well. Ooh, can we give you an eye as well? Do we have... Uh, we have an unfinished bionic eye. Zyola Blue, no rest for you. Finish that eye. Because if Bopuk's still under, we can use the same anesthetic on him. Come on. I mean, we can't use Goldie. His inspiration's gone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. Right. Drop that shit like it's Hot Pockets. And let's get me... Uh, Gator's still the best. <laughs> I love that fact. Gator, advanced bionic eye, right eye, boom, Gator, fucking do it, my friend. Oh, yes. Oh, hells yes. Come on, Gator. You the man. You the man. You the man. Oh, yeah. Puck, you're a badass. You just got the bite scar, which we're not going to deal with now because we need to create, I think, a skin graft. I think, actually, they might have taken skin grafts out. Or at least it might have been something in, in a mod from previous times. But whatever. You are a motherfucking badass now. Breathing is up. Sight is up. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Simrax is now the one who's upset. But he'll be fine once he gets some food in him. Oh! Yes! Come on! Oh! Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, yes. The, the muscle parasites have gone. The muscle parasites are gone. We can actually be a colony once more. Things will get done. I'm so happy. Woo! That is great news. Ah, oh. oh, That is so good. <laughs> Simrex is unhappy out in the rain planting trees. I don't know, there's something very indie film about that more people love us and they're leaving us more things that's really good i mean we've got so much food we don't need any more but i think they are giving it to us oh i'm so happy now people are gonna have normal working hours they're actually gonna we can continue the sermons again i turned off worship when the i turned off worship when the the infestation came i can now put it back on oh that's so good so trevo was Part of the Nikasa, Nikam, Nikamsa people that joined us. The rest of them left him here. He can now leave at any time. But he's just wandering. Ravenously hungry. Your recreation starved. I mean, you can literally... You are unrestricted and you can go anywhere. You can use these steel horseshoe pins. Maybe this is the whole guest thing that I need to work out. The allowed area is home. They can go anywhere. Is he worth recruiting? Because that would solve the problem. Oh, that is that is a lot of of passions. Shooting's good, construction's good, animal artist artistic's not bad, social intellect. That is a lot of passions. Alright, fine, we'll just try and recruit him. That will get that'll get rid of him essentially. Try to recruit. I mean he might decide to leave, that's fantastic, that's fine, that's exactly what we want, but until then we'll just recruit the bastard. So the thing is, when you have muscle parasites, you think your colony is kind of motoring along. It's doing fine. You don't really notice that it's not how it should be. But for example, when we didn't have muscle parasites, we had a thousand chem fuel here. That just happened because I put a bill up for it. We had bionics being worked on. They just happened. We had kibble always. We had all these things that just happen. But when you have muscle parasites, you don't realize that they stop happening. Almost finished the hospital. We're going to start building things in there now. This is, this is good. This is a great place. This is great. Great success. Being out of steel and wanting to build this lot means we won't build this lot. <laughs> 
I'm setting out the foundations. It's just like the hydroponics. We just have to wait for steel. I just don't realistically know where to get steel from. Right, this is what it will look like. With the medicine in here. These are all being our beds and this being a prisoner room. This looks amazing. I am very happy with the idea of this hospital. However, we, we need to get to this point. Well, at the moment, we have no steel. We have 11 steel. That's all we have. We do have steel out here. And now that this area is finished mining, our miners should go over there. We just don't really have any dedicated miners since Alex died, which is a big shame. Alex, man, he was such a big part of the colony. This mining and crafting was a huge deal. Yeah. She. What we are going to do though, now this room is finished, is we're going to put down a wooden sarcophagus. We're not looking for anything fancy in here. This is just to store bodies. I've just realized when that pleasure cruiser came around at the start of the episode, instead of buying an extra TV, I sold an extra TV. I now have no flat screens. God damn it. <laughs> I'm such a stoop. I'm such a stoop. Prevo is just... Prevo apparently no longer counts as a guest because his tribe left, so he's sleeping on the floor. Starving, he's recreation starved, he's tired, he's in pain. Because nobody's feeding him. He has less friends now than when I first wanted to try and recruit him. Is there any way I can just get rid of him? Send away. Oh. Or I could just force Duck Styles to recruit him. I'm going to try the sending away option. Doesn't seem to want to work, damn it! Okay, oh shit. Oh, bugger. Okay, we have we have a poison ship. And this one, last time it was over here and perfectly fine. And you can see there's still a devastation of no life around there. This time, it's kind of right next to our plants. I'm going to have to deal with that pretty fucking sharpish. Oh, uh, well, that's going to be it for today. We'll deal with this next time. We've definitely recovered. We've got ourselves no muscle parasites. Yeah! We're using the Pino like six clean whatever, to to make it so we're never going to get any malaria or plague or anything. Yeah! And we are on the way to fully bionicking ourselves. We just need so much steel. There's the fucking hydroponics bay. There's this battery we need to build. There's the hospital. So much steel is needed. And there's steel around. We just don't really have very good miners at the moment. Oh, we have finished this bit though, so we can put down <laughs> little, just a little aside. We can put down this, and we can put Alex in here. There we go. Beautiful. Go. Have this finished? Aha, at least finished one thing. But the rest of it, it's just, it's going, but it's just going so slowly. I don't know, I can't remember how much we actually relied on Assault Power X to do a lot of the mining and shit. We'll get there. Um, but thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you join me next time. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye! This, by the way, just for those of you who are curious, this episode's gone so much better than last time. Than the episode that never was. Holy shit.